The WPF Theme Designer allows you to customize themes for our controls quickly and easily. In this video, I'll create a new Excel-inspired theme based on the Office 2016 colorful theme. I'll start with our Theme Designer opened and click Create a new theme. Give it a name. Choose the Office 2016 colorful to base it on and click the Create button. Next, I'll build the project and choose our spreadsheet with the ribbon to preview the changes. I'm going to change the blue colors to the green that Excel uses. I use the Filter Colors tool to display the selected element's colors in the palette window. Click on it in the ribbon icon, hold down the Shift key, and point to an element. Our color appears on the right. I'll select the eyedropper and use the color picker to select the green from Excel. Use the Highlight Colors tool to find a particular color of an element. Select the color to highlight elements with it. Each element with the selected color will be highlighted in red. You can use the Highlight Colors tool with the Filter Colors tool at the same time. I'll turn them off and go through and copy and paste the green color when needed. Okay, this looks good. Now let's edit the style of ribbon page groups captions. I'll use the view in the XAML tool to find the XAML code of the element. Click on it in the ribbon icon, hold down the control and shift keys and point to an element. Our code appears to the bottom. I want to change the texts weight, size, and color. Add these property lines to the code, save the file, and click build to build a theme and apply changes. Now I'll bind a palette color to the element. Type the money symbol in the foreground properties value and press down the control and space key combination. In this drop-down list, you can see palette colors of this theme. Let's choose this one. Save the file to apply changes to the theme. And here it is. Now I'll publish this new theme and then apply it to an application. In my WPF app, I'll first need to add a reference to the new theme assembly. Here, you just need to locate the folder and theme assembly to add. You'll need to register the app.xaml.cs file in the app to apply the theme. This bit of code registers my theme and applies it to my application. Now I just need to add the missing namespace reference. Let's run the app and take a look. And you can see the new theme applied to my spreadsheet application. And that's it. If you'd like to learn more about our WPF controls, you can watch more videos from our playlist or check out the documentation on our website. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for all of our latest content. Thanks for watching and thank you for choosing DevExpress.